and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at June 24, 2024's uh, RSL or Region Sunlines by Clover. Clover is one of our setters here at Gas HQ. So my my name is Bill Murphy. Philip Newman will be in tomorrow solving uh, some classic Sudoku's. I think from me. Um, so uh, who are we? Uh, we're Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We make genuinely approachable variant Sudoku's for you. You, that's right, you. Um, you can find the link to today's puzzle. It's in the description down below. Yeah. Um, and you will also find um, hat yeah. times. Two hats is a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a consolation dinosaur because we love you all equally. All right, now let's have a look at today's puzzle. Um, so... <laughs> Normal Sudoku rules apply. So if you've never seen a Sudoku before, one, where have you been? But also, two, let's talk about it. Um, each uh, box, each row, and each column must have the digits one to nine once each. Now, through this grid, there are several blue lines. Now, uh, each of them pass through multiple regions. For each blue line, the sum of the digits on that line is the same within each region. So, uh, row three, column one is this one, and that must have the same sum as these three digits, and that must have the same sum as those two digits. Cool, got it, great, good. Um, if you like, What's he on about? Um, I will uh, launch into the puzzle now, but you know, do give it a go. Um, and yeah, let's do it. So, uh, this is one cell. Now, this is one sum, and these three digits must sum to one cell that I can put in a Sudoku. So, the lowest I can make this is six. One and two for nine. Um, this is one, this is two because we have a two down here. Uh, and now four plus five equals nine. Um, over here, we can do the same thing. Six uh, needs to be one and two to make nine. So this two will tell us how they go around. This is nine. Uh, this is four. Now, uh, eight and one make nine. Now, uh, lowest this can be is uh, three and four, uh, because I've already used the one over here. So this is two, three, four, three over here tells us how this goes. Um, eight and one make nine. Two, three, and four make nine as well. Uh, four over there. Uh, quite often in the comments, we get, uh, we get questions about, hey, how do I get better? at Sudoku. Um, and my take would be, uh, especially when it comes to variant Sudoku, you'd like to learn triangular numbers. So, uh, as an example, one is the lowest num uh, triangular number for one digit. Then you have uh, one and two, one, two, three. So one is has a sum of one, one and two have a sum of three, and one, two, and three have a sum of six. So if you start to learn the triangular numbers, uh, you will learn very quickly what the lowest um, possible sums and combinations are for um, a lot of uh, math-based puzzles, so like Kilostroku, region sum lines, etc. Um, it's that it will save you a bunch of time of having to figure it out. And if you know, as an example, that the triangular number for five digits is 15, because one plus two plus three plus four plus five is 15, but you know that I can't put a one in those, four, then the lowest four must be 14, because 15 minus one is 14. Anyway, that's my tip for today. Let's get back to the puzzle. Um, this row needs five, six, and seven. Uh, Sorry, that column needs five, six, and seven. So five and six here uh, tell us that this has to be seven. Uh, now, five in row nine can't go in these two cells, so it must go there, meaning this must be six. Six and seven have to go in here. Uh, we'll put a six here and a seven here. Uh, three and eight have to go here, but where do I put eight in row one? Because it can't go there. So this is eight, this is three, and this is also three. Now, 
that's going to do quite a bit of damage. Uh, 2456 is 17. Um, so uh, that must be 9 and 8. Uh, 1, 2, 3, and 8 is 14. So that must be 9 and 5. Uh, one, two, uh, 1, 2, 6, 7 is 16. So that has to be 9 and 7, which is pretty useful. Um, and then uh, over here, this is 2, 3, 4, and 7. That is 16. So that also has to be 7 and 9. Uh, that is literally uh, all the variant logic for this puzzle. Um, so now I'm just going to do a bunch of classic Sudoku. Uh, 7 over here uh, means this has to be 4 and 5. Uh, can I do some tricky nonsense over here to make that work? Yes, uh, there's a 6 missing from uh, box 7. So that's 1 and 8. Um, 1, 2, 3, and 8. I don't have anything looking into that box. 2, 3, 4, and 7. Uh, yes. Uh, this pair of 7s, uh, this 7 9 pair and this 7 over here will tell me that this must be 7, which means where do I put 3 in this box now? Uh, 3 over here means that 3 can only go in that position. That's 4, that's 2. Uh, 5 and 6, I can't quite do just yet, but that's okay. We'll get there one day. 2 and 4. Uh, 6 and 1 I can do because that 6 tells us which way around this goes. 8 and 3. That's 8. That's 3. Uh, all right. I did that one. Knowing a clover puzzle, I can probably do this one. And I just haven't seen it yet. Yep. Where does 7 go? 7 can't go in those ones. 7 9 pair means it can't go in there. 7 goes here. Uh, meaning 6 points in this way. We have a 1 and a 2 left to place and that's going to resolve the rest of this box uh this set of boxes no um the people who are much better at sudoku than me i think they call one box a house but the, i don't know if they have a term for the three boxes in a row um eight and three and now this is just finishing off the puzzle uh two five and seven left to place in uh, column six, I've just selected that cell at random, but it definitely helps because two and five can't go in this cell, so that's seven. Nine, seven, nine, seven. Uh, four, six, uh, three and eight, let's place in column four. Uh, one, five, two, and nine. Um, that has been Reads and Sunlines by Clover. My name is Bill Murphy. Um, if you're in the sun, the hemisphere, and getting your butt kicked by the cold weather, weather like I am, I hope you uh, make it through unscathed. If you're in the uh, Northern Hemisphere, I hope uh, the sun is gorgeous and not too punishing. Uh, but, you know, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.